Hey everyone, thank you for joining me. We're gonna do some RDC diagnosis. Please remember to like and subscribe. I'm in a BMW X3 F25 and I'm diagnosing a tire pressure malfunction and you just saw the light come on. You can see right here in the instrument cluster we have all four wheels showing up as not reading. And then of course you get the, the dreaded you know, error over here where it's the tire pressure malfunction. Now, when you have a malfunction, it usually is more than just a tire pressure issue. It's still always a good idea to check your tire pressures, especially if the system can't identify it itself, but there's usually something deeper going on. Now, on your BMW, each wheel is going to have the valve stem, which is a hard valve stem. It should not be a rubber valve stem. And behind that is the sensor. They do have batteries. Hi Zion, how are you doing bud? They do have batteries. Hazy. Hey. <laughs> so the sensors actually have internal batteries. So you could actually have a malfunction in the sensor itself. And the only way to check that is to have a special tool that can read the information out of the sensor. And I've already checked that, so I'm gonna post that up in the corner. Now, all four of these sensors do have low voltage, so they do need to be replaced. However, because they are reading and they do identify, it's usually not the source of the problem, so you need to go a little bit deeper. All right, I'm using an Autel to scan the vehicle. And what I noticed that in my scan, the RDC module, that's actually the module for the tire pressure sensor system, which in this car, the module and the antenna are actually one component on the X3 F25. A lot of modern BMWs, the module and the antenna are actually one component. You can see right here, I'm actually in the instrument cluster. And now the instrument cluster is monitoring the RDC and it says no message status tire RDC receiver combi transmitter RDC. And same thing here, message not current receiver is the combi and the transmitter the RDC. So normally when you're diagnosing problems like this, the receiver is not the problem, but the transmitter usually is. So in this case, the transmitter is our tire pressure monitor control module and the instrument cluster is not getting any signal from that. And this is a bust signal, so that comes up from the KCAN and it gets sent to the instrument cluster. So the next step really is to take a look at the RDC module. On a BMW X3 F25, the RDC sensor is going to be in the right side or passenger side back wheel well area. I just lifted the car enough just to get me some extra room under here and Here's the RDC module slash antenna. So you wanna check a couple things. You wanna make sure that there's no chafing in the wiring, any spot where it could rub. You wanna inspect to make sure that you don't have any issues with the wiring that's visible. Then we're going to want to remove it and unplug it. Now this might look a little confusing, all right, you don't pry the whole thing out. So if you look right here, there's a cover that pulls down and then that kind of holds it in place. And then watch this, give it a tug and we can slide the unit out. Now this holder, the screws are up under here. So if you try to pry this off, you're gonna damage something. So we're gonna slide that down and just take a look at everything here as well. Make sure nothing looks unusual. Now we have a power, red, a ground, and we have our K-can, and our K-can is this uh, wire here and the green one. The brown and yellow, I think it is. It's kind of dark under here. And this green one uh, is our K-can. So we're gonna go ahead and unplug this. It's just a press tab. I'll try to do this with one hand. Give it a tug and pop that down so we can take a look at the module itself. We wanna also make sure Everything in here looks good, and we don't have any melted pins or signs of corrosion. That actually looks good. So let's take a look at the module. So one thing I'm gonna wanna check is power and ground, and I have the right pins handy, and you could back probe this too, but I have these two wires set up with my power and ground, and I have a test light down here, and I just wanna check. I got one end on ground and one end on power. Let's see if I can do this, I'm juggling everything. And 
You can see right there that my test light, which I always use just a bulb style test light because the digital one can give you a false reading. You want to see that there's amperage. You can have no amperage and still show 12 and a half volts. I need amperage for this module to work and you can see right there the bulb is nice and bright. That means that I have good power and ground right here. Just want to pop these off so I don't short the fuse. All right, the only thing, other thing that I could check if I had it and with an oscilloscope is the bus. I'm gonna assume that the bus is probably good. That's a K-can, it's a double wire. You'd have to oscilloscope it or you can see some voltage on that. My voltmeter is at my parents' house right now so I can't really see um, if there's any voltage but if the only fault you have is from your RDC, then probably at that point you can assume that your RDC module is faulty. Now some of these RDC modules you can actually open. This one is sealed so I can't really check the inside but what we would normally see if I could open this is that there would be corrosion inside this. Um, it is supposed to be watertight but over time water does kind of creep into these and they, they usually fail. Um, when you replace this, now you could replace it yourself, you saw how easy that was, you will have to have it programmed at your local dealer or a shop that has programming capability once the new RDC module is installed. It will not work until it is coded to the car. Well, thanks for joining me, everybody. We diagnosed a faulty RDC module and the sensors, they should be replaced, but that is optional because they do actually still work. The battery is low, eventually they are gonna fail, so I'm gonna make that recommendation to my friend, but he's gonna absolutely have to replace the RDC module to fix the problem with the TPMS system. This is usually one of the first things to check, but I always like to check to make sure that the sensors in the wheels are reading correctly. And as always, thank you, and please remember to like and subscribe to Ask the Car Experts YouTube channel.